um, because uh, right now this is this this is where the, the battle is between light and dark. You've got the greys over us. You've got the reptilians underneath us, and between us, you've got humanity of the human. Uh, you've got the American people. I mean, all of the world, but you've got humanity sandwiched in the middle, wondering what the hell is going. I want to talk to you about Lyra. I want to talk to you about what happened in Lyra, and how we, the human race, colonized our galaxy. Now, apparently, what happened was. Uh, based on the age of the suns and the planets and the probable length of stability, it was decided that in our galaxy, to, the human life form was to be created in the system we know as Lyra. Now, apparently, we lived there, the human race lived there um, for approximately 40 million years, was evolving, living, building. Apparently, what happened was that primarily the human race was agricultural in Lyra, in nature. Apparently, we were very plentiful, very abundant, and we lived in peace. Then one day, huge, huge craft appeared in the sky and ship, a, large, a large ship came out of one of the large, what we now know as mother ships approached one of the planets that's name is, was called Bila, B-I-L-A Bila actually um, which I guess is a Lyran word and reptilians got out from Alpha Draconis now apparently the Alpha Draconians and the Lyrans were afraid of each other however as I told you yesterday, the Draconans who apparently were the very first race in our galaxy to have space travel. And they've had this capability for four billion years. Well, apparently when they came and they saw this world with a lot of humans on it, that was agricultural, that had an abundance of food and other natural resources, the Draconans wanted to control it. And my understanding is that there was a miscommunication, a misunderstanding. The Lyrans, in turn, said, well, you want us to help you. This, I'm paraphrasing this whole long story because I've only got just a few minutes. Apparently, the Lyrans wanted to know more about the Draconians before they offered their assistance, before they offered help. Well, this misunderstood the Lyrans intent to want to know more about who these beings were. And what the Draconans did was they took it as a refusal. And they went back up to their ship and they attacked. In Lyra, there were 14 inhabited planets. When they attacked, we were, the Lyrans, we were, the Lyrans were de basically defenseless. Now they did have some space travel that was capable of going between the different planets in the system, but nothing really long-term. They couldn't just, you know, go across the galaxy. So what happened was, when they attacked, they attacked primarily these three planets. These are the only three that the Andromedans have made a real, uh, a real statement about. <clears throat> these three planets were completely destroyed. Fifty million Lyrans were slaughtered. It is here that the Draconans began to look at us as a food source. This is how old this struggle is between the reptilian races and the human races. 